Just how many stars are there in the universe? Astronomers today estimate that just within our galaxy, the Milky Way, there are between 200 and 400 billion stars. Now I know that sounds like a big number, but just how big is 400 billion? Let's say that we were going to try to catalog every star in our galaxy the old-fashioned way, on paper. We'll want to include a picture and some basic information on each star, so let's say we can include 25 entries per page, or if you use both sides of the page, 50 entries. If we put 200 pages together, then we end up with a nice book of about 10,000 stars. A 200-page book is roughly an inch thick, so it's safe to say that we could build an average bookshelf with five shelves that holds about 50 books per shelf. That would get us to 2,500,000 stars. Now, two and a half million is nothing to shake a stick at, but to get to a billion, we need a thousand millions. That's 400 bookshelves, an entire library, every shelf filled with books of stars. And that's just our first billion. To get to 400 billion, we'd need 400 more libraries. An entire city of libraries, every shelf stocked only with books filled with stars. And that's just our one galaxy. Today, astronomers can look farther out into space than ever before, and we now know that there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in our universe, each with their own hundred billion stars. Now, something that scientists think a lot about nowadays is, with so many stars out there, what's the chance that life exists somewhere else in the universe? Back in the 1960s, an astronomer by the name of Frank Drake wrote an equation that we can use to help us discover not just the number of planets with life in our galaxy, but the number of planets with civilizations and intelligent life. We can use part of the Drake equation to figure out just how many stars in our stellar library have life-supporting planets. We can start with the number of stars that have any planets at all. Thanks to recent observations, mainly from the Kepler Space Telescope, we now know that this number is much higher than we might have ever hoped. As many as 70% of the stars in our galaxy may have planets that orbit them. Next, we need to know if any of those planetary systems have planets in the habitable zone, the area that's just the right distance from the star to have life-supporting temperatures like we have here on Earth. Of the thousands of planets that astronomers have found so far, there have been 67 that lie in their star's habitable zone, a consistent 4%. Now, just because a planet lies in its star's habitable zone doesn't necessarily guarantee that it has life. There are still things to consider like atmosphere, weather, geology. So let's be generous to the skeptics and say that one in a hundred thousand of those planets can support life in its current condition. What does that leave us with? More than a hundred thousand planets supporting life right now in our galaxy. Thousands of pages each with dozens of life-sustaining planets to explore, potentially billions of new species to discover, maybe some that we can even talk to and learn from. What lies out there for us to find? We can only know if we attempt to look. Through the Extrasolar Project, we're offering you the chance to drive a rover on one of these life-sustaining planets. Join us as we dream to worlds beyond. <laughs>